What is going on guys? Assassin here with some more Final Fantasy 14. And um if you've been uh like looking or I, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying, basically. I haven't been uploading the last like couple of days. And I have a good weekend. I don't. I don't have a good reason. The only reason I have it. Hold on, when is my play? But yeah, only reason I have it is because I've literally, I'm gonna be honest with you, I've been addicted to Pokemon. Uh, mainly Pokemon Story. <laughs> it seems I was the swifter, I, I was the swifter Kumi, you two, however, I've arrived with time to spare, for our host has yet to make an appearance. <clears throat> Um, the murmuring about camp tell of some some manner of trouble at the gates of judgment and the Lord and the Lord commander's absent I suggest we visit the place and find out what is afoot. I love how literally the last episode I was <clears throat> I was like, yeah, I'm gonna farm for the mount for what's it called? The mount for the event and then I'm just like Pokemon. Oh, Heretics gum, how dare they they meddle with our divine protection. I shall rid our nation of, of, of their blasphemy for me, even if it means cutting them down one by one. Yeah. We, we need not fret over much. There are yet several layers of arcane, arcane protection that shield the city from invasion. Another will be found. The, ga the, the gates of judgment are much more than mere doors. They are the utmost, outermost layer of Hitchcock's magical world. If, if our first line of defense can be so easily shattered, when I laid eyes upon upon eyes upon Lady Ayatar, I felt the Marrow freeze within my bones. Yeah, um, conclusion, they all scared a little bit. Could seem that... Could seem the heretic struck the first... First and most telling blow against his heart. Zion. Sometimes we expected you at Camp Dragonhead. My apologies, we can't, can't to hear that there has been trouble at the gate and thought it wouldn't to investigate the cause. Then you have learned of the heretic's treachery. Lady Iceheart led a full force, force of her followers against our defenders in camp. Close enough to dispel the first of our wars. But let us speak more of this back at the camp. Sir Emmerich awaits you. <laughs> Lady Iceheart has grown bold indeed if she was would risk direct action against the city. Come, let us do as we bid and return to Camp Dragonhead. Lord Hashapon will know where Sir Emmerich means to receive us.
It is reassuring indeed to behold the counter end of a group of friends when one home lands. Peter's was one of the very brink of disaster. Though a single mischief could send out something as his own this, your heroic presence stoked the flame of courage within my heart. Ah, but you did not come to Dragon Head to listen to, uh, to, listen to my prattling. The Lord Commander has arrived and will greet with you in the I thank you for coming with such haste and apologize. I apologize for my absence. Suffice it to say, Lady Iceheart and her heretics have much to answer for. Yes, we, yes, we are. Yeah, yes, we are. But recently returned from the deep, deep of judgment ourselves. Given the circumstance, we quite understand if you would prefer to postpone our appointed audience. On the contrary, Master Al Master Alphanod, I think it more important than ever that this meeting take place. Rest assured, I shall return to, to my post on Ishgard Wall the moment our business is concluded. But we move on, on to the subject of reinforcements. Reinforcements. However, I would introduce you to a close friend and stalwart ally. Thane? Heston? Heston? We got a badass over here. May I present you or to you, Ishgard's Azir Dragoon? An impressive title, though I confess I know precious little of the, of the Order of Dragoon. <laughs> they are formidable warriors, all yet even among such masters of the land, Estian is without equal. He, out of all the warrior, warriors of Ishgard, was, to, was chosen to wield the power of the of dragon, and they thus contend with any Dravanian. <laughs> you flatter me. You flatter me over much, Lord. So you you are the adventure of whom they spoke. I see I see now why my my blood bear sang an interpretation of our meeting. Well now that would have have well now that we that yeah well now that we all, have all been in, introduced let us proceed to the matter at hand. I would share with you what we have learned of Iceheart's design, as confessed by, by the heretic taken captive after the assault on the gate. It would seem that Lady Iceheart and the Dravanians share a common goal to re the reclamation, reclamation of Nidhogg's stolen eye. Nidhogg, one of the seven great worms. His name, yeah, his name features prominently in your nation's history. Though once, 
the one defeated by the hero Hadraf Haldraf. The beast is said to have <laughs> terrorized Parthia since Ishgard's founding. <laughs> Hey, many are the scars on our walls bear from Nick Hawk for the relentless efforts to raise the city. The trophy Haldra plucked from the beat warm skull known simply as the, as the eye is a treasured relic of Ishgard and one possessed of untold power. Could it ever be returned return to Nidhogg. Nid the dread creature would be restored to the height of his brain, and then no wall or ward we could ever, and uh, no wall or ward we could erect would be stout enough to deny him. My vengeful, <clears throat> my vengeful son have ra waged war against his guard for a thousand years. No mortal mind could comprehend the justice of his rancor. The eye itself is secreted deep within the vault. The vault is kept under every guard surrounded. But, uh, surrounded at all times by men and women who have proven their loyalty to the Holy See. But though stout walls and sharp blades may suffice to discourage the heretics, the dragons are another matter. There are individuals within the Serenian Horde whom an entire company of knights would labor to help to say nothing of mid himself. Nor does age rob them of their strength. Through the endless march of years, the dragon endure patience, calculating in or or ex ex You must understand these creatures do not share our perception of time. And that is expressed especially through of the great, great wars. They who spend centuries in slumber only to wake and resume their campaign as if mere hours have passed. It has been twenty years since Nidhogg last darkened our, our skies, twenty years for him to gather his strength. For us to bolster our defenses, and now, just as he seems primed to return, the heretic strikes at the gate. <coughs> you believe that Lady Ashheart is in, is in league with the, cre the creature of death. Of that, we cannot be certain, though we know the heretic of uh, Covet the eye, we have been un uh, unable to determine their plan for it. Such questions aside, we must needs address the rag hole their mistress has, has seen fit to rend and express protection. <laughs> Here's a weakness to the drip. The Dravanians are not like to leave untested. So it would seem you have described your plight in plight in, in rival detail, Lord Commander. Yet I cannot help but wonder at your can candor. Why share such sensitive information with us? I speak plain. Ishgard has, has need of allies, and I, and I would have you bolster our front lines in readiness. For the coming battle against the dragon. His much I, ex I expected, unlike our arrangement, 
concerning the Keeper of the Lake, however, only you stand to benefit from our assistance. From our assistance. In this matter, I fail to see why we should intervene in a conflict which concerns only Ishgard and Germania. When the Aurorian Alliance requested Ishgard's assistance during Operation Archon, you feel that. Does it, does it not seem grossly unjust to demand that we now risk our lives in your private war? <clears throat> I make no. I make no attempt to defend my country's conflict. I only ask that you consider what would fell fellow. Consider what would fellow were it going to fall. <laughs> Having raised our city to the ground, the uh, the horde would have little cause to linger, and most would return to their lairs in Dravania. Soon thereafter, the ruins of Corsus would be burned in snow, and the land would become the sole province of beasts and beastmen. Until the Garland uh, arrival, that is, for you may be certain that the Empire would, would not has hes not hesitate to claim Corsus. They would not even have to draw a steel. An Imperial province, province sharing a border with Mordona, seven held. Ahem, very well. We will, uh, uh, we will assist you in calling the dragons from war of a great worm may have taken the from the from the but we of the wars you will now abandon our guardian brothers to face the coming horde alone nor did i ever think you would now upon the matter of how uh, uh, now upon the matter of the war allow me sir Emery. The power of the eye, I have become. But I have become the vessel of Nidhogg's strength. His essence has stolen into my very blood. <laughs> Fear not, I. I am in full control of my. I assure you, and the eye itself is of no root. Revillian, I fucking, I can't, I can't read you right now. To this tale, it is not revelant, revelant, right, re 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 revelant, yeah, whatever. Of this tale, it is not essential that I bear it with one or me. Wherever I go, its lingering influence does, however, allow me to hear allow me to hear its hot voice. Then the worm who roared was Nidhogg, Hey, he means to hurl his his horde against. Spanian collar and, not, and shatter the remaining wards that protect the city. There can be no doubt the worm has summoned his minions to war. Sheesh! We're going to war! I swear to god, it's a fucking table. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Sign her up. Okay. Though the circumstances are far from ideal, this desperate endeavor will at least provide us an opportunity to bring the, 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 the sister states of Aurora together in common cause. Sir Emmerich was more ruthless in it. 
his negotiations than I had anticipated. I suppose one must give no father when one comes to that thing. <laughs> but did you see the look of him? Look on his face when he formally requested our defensive assistance. Though the Lord Commander has long, has long campaigned for its guard to open its gates to us, gates, open its gates to outsiders, I suspect there's something there's something of the Holy Seas at altitude. Towards foreign cooperation counts as something of a bittersweet victory. The days ahead promise to be interesting indeed. Yep. If we if, if we are to aid the Ishgardian in this war of theirs, preparations will have to be made and soon. Before 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 proceeding, however, we must need to return to the Rising Stone and make our report to the Ishgardian. Alfino, it is good to see you. Tell me, what have you learned? Pray summon the others. Everyone must hear my report. Shit's about to go down. <laughs> So this was all but a taste of what's to come. Indeed. The main host advances upon Ishgard as we speak. Whose vaunted defenses have been nullified. Shorn of its wards, the city will bear the full force of Nidhogg's fury. All those people... Alfino is right. The Dravanians cannot be allowed to prevail. If Ishgard falls, all of Eorzea will suffer the consequences. Then you agree that we have no choice but to intervene. For the good of the realm, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn and the Crystal Braves must join the defense of Ishgard. Let there be no ambiguity about what has been proposed. We would be directly intervening in the war. But if all here believe the cause to be just, then to war we shall go. Ah oh, shit, this is about to be some Spartan shit. The path we now embark upon is perilous, but I pray you will walk with us to the end. Yeah, you I'm for those we have lost, for those we can yet save. I keep acting like in my mic, but I'm just like, imagine, and we're just like, nah, this shit, I ain't doing this shit, I'm leaving. Bye! And it is said, <laughs> I, I shall inform the council of our intentions, and request that they contribute their own forces to the defense of Ishgard. Hell yeah, we go in the war. We're gonna die. 
Uh oh. I like real. Ramp. Well, how do I fucking say his name? That guy right there. He's a cool guy. <laughs> that's, that's just all I got to say. He's just like. I have. I have read that Archons travel to their assigned nation. Did the members. Yeah. Did the members of the Alliance agree to pledge Grand Company soldiers to Ishgard's cause? Our com comrades will be on hand to act as interim military for the duration of the conflict. So, the small matter of persuading the Alliance leaders is Grand Sith. Support our lead to Alphalon. For you, my friend, with a different task and ways, I would have you reach out to your uh, uh, to your fellow adventurers and gather what allies you may for the coming siege. I would also have you consider the consider the matter of our own security. Revenant Hole is but a short flight from the snowfields of Porthos. And it is unimaginable that the fighting may may spill across the border. Pray brief stop born on the brewing conflict and discuss potential contingencies. The frontier settlers must be prepared for aught that might swing its way over our walls. I only hope that such such precautions prove unnecessary. Uh, before you leave, might I suggest that you have Tatsu accompany you? Really? She has a account for administration, administration and a firm grasp of the practical challenges we may encounter. Alright! Arturo, you're coming with me. We're going on a trip. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we are rather close to Carthage, aren't we? <laughs> We'd best see to our own defenses and take the, uh, stock of our supplies. Oh. We'll also need to have beds and bandages laid out uh, just in case. A, a good receptionist is ready for anything, any eventuality. Let's go, Kevin. I have 801 things to discuss with Alpha. Not ah, great. <laughs> <laughs> I can just pick this up and like, no, oh, can we take me with you? <laughs> I don't want to deal with this shit. Oh my god, it's a little lollipop riding a little Kieran. Kieran. I appreciate the warning of you. <laughs> if war is coming to pop us, then the cold must be made ready. I'll increase, I'll increase the number of patrols and will pass immediately. I'll also see about not finding room for an infirmary. As well as, well as temporary housing for victims of the conflict. Ishgar has, has done well by us in the past, and I would return the favor. But as for rounding up volunteers for the fighting itself, I'm afraid I must disappoint you. I will not send, them, send my fellow guild members to die on Ishgarian soil, and I am certain head supporters will say the same. There will be will be no official adventures to approach the 
Guard sounds like he is in the right mess, but we but that ain't what I want to ask you to be about. I need you to cast your mind back and back to the, the, the chapel with the empire out by the, the processing plant. A lad from Little Alamigo by the name of Will Fred was there with the with the Forbes that day. And I want to know if you've seen him. Heavy. No. <laughs> Actually, yeah, he's right. I have it. I just remembered. <laughs> God damn it! I feared. I feared as much. No one's, no one's bloody seen him. It's like the ground of hope ground open and it swallowed him whole. But that ain't all. Around the time we will. We'll Red stopped turning up for duty. The black market weapons went loosely from our vault into the dock. So now, of course, half the braces, half the braces expect the last, so make an offer to good. Both like to believe our company is dis disciplined and fighting for it, but as you, you and me both know, <laughs> there's no more. <laughs> A multi collection of mercenaries, adventures, and grand company veterans. <coughs> the only thing as binds as binds us together is a vague oath about fighting for the freedom of all that and the steady pay. <laughs> now compared to most others in this crew, Wolf Red Flesh Fresh Face Novice A Lead and wealth among the wolves. But the boys got passion when he talked about being a, <laughs> being a guardian of Aurora. He bloody well meant it. A lad like him wouldn't row a blind and bugger off like that. He ain't the type. And then, and this is just between you and, you and me, mind. There's the fact that the lad wanted to tell him. Tell me about something queer he'd noticed in the ledgers. Something about the brave number not added up. <laughs> hey, there's a villain at the end of this crowd I stumbled upon, and I'll bet you, I'll bet me a good eye it ain't young Will Red. <laughs> Any road, you've got a war to wage, so I'll let you get on. I just thought someone should know. I'll be seeing you soon.
My blade to the Ish Guardians. Well, them dragons are a fierce a lot, but I'll slay. I'll slay. I slay me fair share of the share if the coin was good. I worked for one of them nights before, you know. Was like watch me like a bloody hawk. He did. Still, still, I put up with worse than that for a hefty purse. <laughs> so it's got deep cell swords to both their ranks, eh? So I'm not sure I like the sound of this seed. Those nobles will surely be generous with their reward. Ah, oh, but I have pledged myself to guard reverence to a modest work, so it is. I am loath to break the terms of my contract. What to do, what to do. <coughs> yeah. There you are, tell me so did you carry in the heart? No, not well. One or two, and it will add it to my stomach. Stomach, three or four. Not including stuff, four friends, and all that. I won't have the large companies on you, but I say, more and more. One friend is so better, we're being broken. Clanking, clanking, clanking. So caught up with recruiting that I almost for, I, that I almost forgot these have these men there's been word from Alphanon. Apparently the Alliance leaders but Alliance leaders are converting convening in Ulda to discuss the Guardian's plight and then they requested your presence as usual. Anyway, you best make your way to Ulda or you'll be or you'll be late. And, uh, late Afna said that he would meet you on the little Okay. 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 Yeah, the royal hey, the, or not royal community, old dad where I met, uh, Noctis Tatsuro, if you didn't know that. I'm going the wrong way. No, oh my god, I almost got that, that would be so good. I'm here. My apologies for calling you away from your from your cat. I I hope to, but these there will be a thing. These negotiations one leader at a time, but it's new, but yeah, my urgent request for an audience has prompt a gathering of the council. 
<clears throat> Needless to say, I feel large to the point. Alliance leaders are already seated within. Let us join them, shall we? Okay. We're all fucked. We're all gonna die. It's over. The end has come. The end is near. We are well aware of Ishgard's dilemma, and we agree with your assessment. Then I trust there are no objections to the Crystal Brave's intervention. Uda has not. <laughs> Gridania does not object. The Crystal Braves are yours to command, Alfino. Do what you will. We shall pray for your success. It was my hope that you would offer more substantial aid than prayer. I know it is within your means. <clears throat> Do not presume that you have knowledge of our every concern. The Garleans and the Beast Tribes are but two of many. We are not in a position to contribute greatly to the defense of Ishgard. Not when our own homes are still under siege. We dare not leave our interests in Cartano undefended as well. Telegi Adelegi and his ilk would seize control of the territories in our absence. The enemy is at their gates and you would cower behind yours? No one is cowering, boy. We will offer what support we can. I don't know why, but... <laughs> I just picture Raban pulling out Kratos and being like, Watch your tone, boy! <laughs> Aye, support. A handful of men and no more. Would that we could commit more than a token force to this cause. Yet there are others to whom you might turn. The free companies ever want for work. Ah, yes. The free companies. They're not like to turn you down. I beg your pardon? You would entrust the survival of Ishgard to sell swords? <laughs> Crises like these are the very reason why this alliance was formed. It is our duty to aid our fellow man. My duty is to my country and my people. If you expect us to place the welfare of a foreign power above our own, you're going to be sorely disappointed. Lest you doubt, Limsa comes first, then the Alliance, and finally, circumstances permitting, Ishgard and the rest. If you cannot understand so simple a concept, then you have no place at this table. Damn! I wrote a shun at that. Forgive me, Admiral. I was careless in my choice of words. <clears throat> I suggest you assemble a party of elite adventurers, assuming you haven't already. Your fellows served us well during Operation Archon. I dare say they will do so again. You mean elite dumbasses? We're all dumbasses. If I may, Your Grace, I wish to propose a redistribution of forces. If we entrust the security of Uldar to the Brass Blades for a time, we can dispatch a larger force to Ishgard. Oh, shit. Your Grace? I forgot you said bad. This happened. Yes. Yes, of course. Do what you will. Well, oh, she's... I feel bad for her. Shit. Well, oh, she's so happy. Why is she doing 
I'm so sad. Is her grace not feeling well? To the best of my knowledge, her grace is in perfect health. I see. Carry on. Yeah, but what about emotionally, you bitch? I'm still here, by the way. Oh, bye. Just leave me all alone right here. Once again, I owe you an apology. It seems you have been conscripted into lending, leading a contingent of adventurers, adventurers on yet another mission. If of of inestimable, I fuck it, danger. <laughs> but I fear we have been uh, yeah, we have been left with little. Alternative, we we cannot well abandon Lord Hush. Lord Hush plot is the emirate to their fate. We must we must abide by the council's decision, as short sighted as short sighted as it is, and strive to fulfill our roles of Orosian's guardian. Okay. Captain Elbert, what's new? But then the assault is begun. We have, but this moment concludes our audience to the life leader. Move our forces into position. Your unit is going to help Tinder at the steel bridge. Man the cannons alongside the night, and then send the Slovenian force currently sent upon Big Star. I will join you as soon as I am able. I would have you and your adventure allies both the defenses at the steps of fate. Report first to Sir Mal Canyon at the gates of judgment and he will direct you to, to where you are. May the gods grant us victory. Appointed a captain, captain of the Delta Ward contingent. Then welcome. There is no shortage of blade work to be done. As we speak, Romanian skirmishing parties are carrying positions across the Central Highlands. I've assigned the Crystal Braves and your fellow adventurers to sustain these gathered attacks, and for their pre present, I would have you join them. <coughs> This is, of course, merely a precursor to the assault on Ishgard, Ishgardian, or Ishgard proper. The, 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 the willy serpent, serpents seek to divide and con confuse our forces, but we will not be so, so easily drawn out of position. The Temple Knights will remain on the steps of fate and continue our preparations when the Horde arrives in force. They shall face a wall of Ishgardian steel. Report back to me once their advanced skirmishes are slain.
What news, adventure? The the reinforcements be decimated. Decimated, you say? Trevanian devils dream their damn their scaly hide. Hold fast to your grief and fury, my lady. We will avenge the 
accept the death of your fellows in the battle of the camp. Are you commit yourself to the siege? You should know what it is you are passing. <coughs> Beyond the gates of judgment to the depths of faith, a great bridge, bridge of stones that leads directly to the city of your shark. More than simply a means to cross the sea of clouds, the, the bridge serves as a foundation of the arcane force that one the bear can be called to remain with trust in even power. Alas, in destroying the various animal play of the story stands with high parts of the bridge of the protection and thus far the dragon town able to able, able to stop. Land I'm headed up on the Should the Germanians succeed in destroying the destroying the remainder of the war, the link devils will be the form of the castle of the Needless to say, we cannot we can suffer that to happen. It shall be our task as defenders to prevent any harm from coming to those parts of the bridge where the war is part of the field. All now rest on us, on us to venture, lead your comrades out onto the rest of the race, and prepare to meet the horde. May the fear guide your place. Okay so, okay, so I'm gonna guess I'll just wait for this to, you know, get started and I'll see you guys in turn. Bro, honestly, that was so much more faster than PlayStation when I was playing on pay PlayStation. I remember it because it literally took me two fucking hours to literally get to the damn.
Just knock this shirt. I'm not gonna hurt. It's so edgy. <laughs> the dragons, they are withdrawing. Victory is ours. <laughs> that guy just sitting there right there, he's like, fuck. I just want to break. <laughs> You're okay, buddy. Get your ass up. <laughs> just picturing the fucking monster. Thing. One of Nidhogg's <coughs> greatest champions slain, the Horde will not soon recover from its blood. <laughs> but what are you, Nidhogg? I, what, why did you not join your, your minions to make of this battle a slaughter? Have you grown so fond of the stench of your lair? May help you. I have you prefer to have your allies fight your battles for you. You have a girl to girl girl to do your bidding now. Do you not? No matter. I shall slay I part and all the rest. <laughs> but I yearn to spill the blood of a great worm, Nidhogg, and only your death will save my plant. Damn, I'm trying to act like Superman and I'm fucking jumping into the air. Cool, the dragons are around and rooted. Like you want to fighting at Shield Vigil was also fierce, but my first waves were not fun wanting. Commander Livier is coming. On behalf of the Holy See and the people of Ashtar, I offer you my humble thanks. No problem. 
go I would stay in stay in lavish you as well in your praises. I fear I must I must away to overdo the aftermath of this people. Not all the dragons are but there are yet more to be carried from the field of I let us meet the mouth that The threat to its gods has been greatly diminished. They may have a equally the Holy Spirit does not recognize the necessity of corruption in the form they bear their gates against the outside world, but I am confident that the day will soon come when it regard to claim to trust the number of wars that long since mortal. Life have been sacrificed in their struggles against the dragons and farmers that have been in the empire, but step by unfaltering step, we march ever near to our goal. And as an effort for the journey it made with you and the same event. The victory of one who stay good has greater hope for the world of tomorrow. It is a hope that shall sustain us in the days to come and bear us past the many evils that yet seek to hinder our progress. Yes, we have done well. Normity of our achievements. The demands of duty, however, allow me little time for the I love the company captain's over his back to the old and we assign the old trade friend has earned a new regret that the rising sun very return to Reverend Paul and hear you know in the serious person. Okay. Never cease to amaze me, Komi. Thank you. You must be wary, Komi, and now, may, and now, may very well be your only chance to. Never mind. I have to send it. I got the rule. Hi. <clears throat> a messenger, a messenger from Ulda arrived with a message for you. What to say? Big booty. The royal seal. The royal seal. Seal. Curious indeed. <laughs> And ah, an invitation. On behalf of the Council of the Aurorian Zen Alliance, Her Royal 
Madness in Anima or Nama invites the sons of the seven gods to attend a feast at the royal palace of Olda in honor of Ishgard's recent victory. It would seem we are to be recognized for our part in the lifting the siege. You for your valiant effort as commander of the adventurers, contingent in the Archon for their earnest attempt to rouse the city state. Truly, I find it strange that the Alliance leaders should think themselves deserving of a place at such a celebration. <laughs> All three refused to deploy their standing armies, preferring to send hastily assembled companies of Southwards, many of whom perished when the siege began. Now, are they truly so brazen as to seek to share in the glory of your triumph? Ah, but mayhap they simply seek a pretext to meet with a the Ishgardian while the moon the moon is yet jubilant. Such an occasion would present a slight opportunity to press the press for Ishgard and return to a worthy alliance. We have scarce had time to mourn Munbrida and I for one am in no mood to car off. But I suppose we must put away our grief for the good of the realm. Though you were promised rest, I fear I must insist that you also attend. It would, <laughs> it would be a strange celebration indeed if the victory's victorious hero were not present. Pray content yourself with the thought that, the, that such occasions may bring about a moment momentous change in this wood and this without recourse to bloodshed. Katra, if you would do me the favor of contacting the rest of the sound. Of course I can send it. And please let me know if there's anything else I could do. <laughs> Poor Katra. She just wants to feel useful! Curious. I've never, I've never known Tatro to to, to sign a such request. Could I be a miss? Okay. Well, I'm actually gonna end off this episode here. And in the next episode, either in the next episode or the episode after that, I'm pretty sure it's, that's going to be the end for A Realm Reborn. And we're going to be moving on to Heavensward. So yeah, I hope you guys look forward to that. Other than that, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, while you're down there, why not hit the subscribe button. Um, but yeah, I'm out. Peace!